and uh, our bilateral friendship is on say, on good grounds. We um, we cooperate. We have regular meetings with uh, Russian officials and uh, representatives of the regions. That's very wonderful. And uh, what do you think? Does it does it help somehow to uh, strengthen our cultures? It definitely does, <clears throat> and it also is an opportunity and an occasions like this to for both Russians and Maltese uh, normal uh, citizens to appre appreciate each other's uh, cultures. And uh, <clears throat> I can safely say that uh, Russian culture uh, with uh, the size of uh, Russian Federation is quite diverse and very interesting. Thank you so much and have a wonderful evening. So, uh, may, I, may I question to you, how you feelings and how you describing this type of festival, musical festival to in Russia, this is the, um, uh, as a, uh, like a friendship between two countries. Indeed, you are right. Um, so, bilateral relations between Malta and Russia have a strong past, have a strong history. In fact, most of our brilliant musicians in Malta have studied in Russia. We have conductors, we have pianists who have studied in Russia, and also somebody recently who has studied voice. So, this festival really is um, a homage to the relationship between Malta and Russia, especially culturally. Of course, we are very happy to have this festival in Malta, which, which is being organized by the European Foundation for the Support of Culture, which is a foundation that very regularly conducts high-level festivals in Malta. So this is one of a, of a series of high-level excellent festivals that they have, that they take place, that they organize. Um, and we are, very, we are very looking forward to see this festival in terms, of course, of the master classes, of the competition, but of course, as well, of the performances.